Oh, good evening. On, on behalf of the National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Engineering, we welcome you to this evening's symposium. We are pleased to host this event in collaboration with our colleagues at the National Science Foundation in the scientific societies, including AIP, APS, IEEE, Photonic Society, the Optical Society, and SPIE. We also appreciate the support from GE Lighting. Uh, at, at this time, I'm delighted to introduce the director of the National Science Foundation, Dr. Franz Cordova. Dr. Cordova was sworn in as director of the foundation in March of 2014. She leads the only government science agency charged with advancing all fields of scientific discovery, technical innovation, and uh, STEM education. NSF's programs uh, keep the United States at the forefront of science and engineering, empower future generations of scientists and engineers, and foster U.S. prosperity and global leadership. In fact, I would guess that many of us here in, in the uh, auditorium have benefited from activities of the NSF in the past. Dr. Cordova's scientific contributions have been in the areas of observational and experimental astrophysics, multispectral research on X-ray and gamma ray sources, and spaceborne instrumentation. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Franz Cordova. Good evening, everyone. And thank you very much, Bob, for those uh, generous remarks. And let me say on behalf of the National Science Foundation that it's a great pleasure to welcome everyone to the National Academy of Sciences for this celebration of the International Year of Light. Thank you for joining us, one and all, in this important event. Earlier this year, I had the opportunity of participating in the launch of the International Year of Light at UNESCO headquarters in Paris, often called the City of Light. It's inspiring to see this global initiative continue to raise awareness among the peoples of the world about the importance of light and optical technologies in their lives for their future and for the development of society. This celebration today offers a unique opportunity to inspire to educate and to connect people and institutions on a national scale in a global environment. And I would like to especially thank SPIE, the Optical Society, the IEEE Photonic Society, the American Physical Society, the American Institute of Physics, and of course, the National Academy of Sciences for helping make these events possible. Many of you and your families have had a chance earlier today to experience the wonders of light, family fun activities at the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian on the National Mall. Could I sh have a show of hands, anyone who got there? I heard it was great, do you agree? Let me thank my good friend, Kevin Gover, director of the museum, for making that venue available for the array of hands-on optical educational exhibits. And of course, I want to thank the many students and volunteers from a variety of organizations for their generous time and efforts in making the afternoon a success. Also, I understand that the Radiance Orb that you're enjoying this evening will make an appearance tomorrow at a special event of Art and Light just across the Potomac at the Torpedo Factory Arts Center in Alexandria, Virginia. The innate desire for discovery lies at the heart of the National Science Foundation. For more than six decades, we've enabled scientists and engineers to unlock the secrets of nature by investing in fundamental research across all fields of fundamental science and engineering. This research has been essential to America's success by strengthening our national security, enhancing economic growth, 
and improving our innovation and competitiveness in the global marketplace. NSF is proud to be one of the world's leading funders of research into all aspects of light in its many manifestations across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. One prominent example of NSF's leadership is our recently announced agency-wide optics and photonics program that involves multiple divisions within our directorate for math and physical sciences, our directorate for engineering, our directorate for biological sciences, and our directorate for computer and information science and engineering. And we have many of the leaders of those divisions and directorates with us tonight. The program aims to move beyond the present science and technology base in optics and photonics and lay the groundwork for major advances in scientific understanding and creation of high impact technologies for the next decade and beyond. The optics and photonics program is designed to address the critical national need to enhance the support of fundamental and translational research in optics and photonics. This new program follows an extensive new optics and photonics roadmap that NSF released in 2013. It outlined the many avenues of research that we're pursuing. Among the areas covered by this roadmap are the integration of photonics with electronics, biophotonics, which is the intersection of photonics with biology, healthcare, and medicine, the quantum realm in science and engineering, and manufacturing innovations that are enabled by light technologies. In all of these areas, there's an emphasis on education and outreach programs designed to advance technology education at all levels in order to nurture a science and engineering workforce that's capable of successfully performing in an international research environment. Now, having made my case on behalf of the National Science Foundation, it's time to hear from our outstanding speakers. Four world-recognized leaders in the fields of optics and photonics who are transforming our world through the science of light. We're honored to have two Nobel laureates with us tonight. My good friend, Dr. Shuji Nakamura from UC Santa Barbara. Great to see you again, Shuji. He's 2014 Nobel laureate in physics. And Dr. Eric Betzig, the 2014 Nobel laureate in chemistry. We're also fortunate to have Gerald Duffy from GE Lighting to explain recent changes to solid state lighting. And Michael Lair, CEO of the newly announced American Institute for Manufacturing, Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, or AIM Photonics, who will speak on the merger of nanophotonics and electronics. Let me add parenthetically that as Vice President Joe Biden recently noted, AIM Photonics is a collaborative, public-private, administrative priority for the country, involving substantial five-year investments by the Department of Defense and other federal agencies, including the National Science Foundation, as well as significant funding by private and state sectors. And now I'm pleased to turn the podium back to Bob Shafrick. Bob, thank you very much.